Welcome back guys, so we're going live again for the sun this time, so part of our planetary range. Um, another wonderful message, um, really inspiring. Again, I hope everyone's following this. Please give feedback if you are, because it helps everyone else as well. Um, I will be setting this up as, a, as an actual um, sort of little course later uh, and adding more to it. Um, but that will be coming out later anyway. So just, just enjoy what you're listening to now. Go through what, what's coming up, you know, what, they, what the planets are asking for of you. Um, because, you know, like I said, many times when this started, this planetary range, um, they're coming through now and it's a wonderful gift um, and they're really assisting us at a much deeper level now. Um, and it's, it's yeah, it's, 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 it's a great thing because obviously, you know, as consciousness is changing on the planet, we, we need assistance because we are so bogged down in misinformation, uh, in the illusion that, um, you know, even spiritual people are finding it hard to sort of understand the process, understand what they're going through, because even the New Age movement has a lot of misinformation as well. Um, so again, we're just trying to simplify everything, keep it simple. You can stay in your own home. You don't need to travel off anywhere. Um, you don't have to go and do all this, you know, extra work per se. What it means is about just being in the moment and surrendering, and that's when you can receive the most healing, the most awakening. Um, it's not about this pilgrimage anymore. It doesn't exist. It's the old world. Um, so standing still, being present, doing nothing is 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 the most powerful place you can be. And obviously, using inquisitiveness and imagination, which we've spoke about many times. Um, you know, being one of our greatest gifts uh, to be able to break through misinformation, through the structure, uh, the programming, the conditioning, uh, the illusion. Um, and this is really, really important uh, that we get into that space now. Um, so, you know, when we feel information, when it resonates with us, then it's awakening the cellular information. If you just listen and just take it in on a mental level, it's going to have an effect. But you want to open the heart when you, when you receive these types of messages because it's very, very important that, you know, because the frequency in, in channeling that we do, the frequency of the words holds uh, an activation in itself. Um, so obviously when you hear it with an open heart, you are activating by just listening. Um, but, you know, we have to go through the processes because of the human mind needs to attach to something. It needs to have something to do. Um, and this is why these processes are set up. But really, it's just your intention to connect uh, and open um, because the soul is, 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 is aware of all of this. It, it's trying to integrate with its human self to bring this, uh, this, this frequency through onto the earth plane, uh, into the body. Um, so yeah, it just takes a little bit of, of, of unconditioning the human mind, believing that we have to go and do a thousand things to achieve uh, an awakening process. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's, it's very, very interesting. Um, I'm gonna, there's something I wanna say, but I'm, I'm, it's not feeling to come out yet. So I'm gonna read off the message first um, from the sun. And uh, yeah, so when I read it, you know, obviously it says a few things, um, it gives it asking you to give permission to do in your meditations so just read over this or listen to this part again uh, about four minutes in at the moment uh, you can just listen to the to the actual channeled message um, if you're interested in doing the work that's been given to you um, so i'll read off now and then we can chat a bit at the end okay all right so well the sun as i was starting to write it says i'm the grand awakener now you know uranus um has termed, has, has coined that process. However, all planets are waking in us at the moment. So they're all really grand awakeners. Um, so it, that's the first words it came through with. Anyway, it said, opening up to a whole new experience is now in manifestation. I, the sun, come to you today to invoke a special idea. One that is poised to open up your hearts to a joy that hasn't been felt for many thousands of years on your earth plane. I am indeed a portal of grand proportions, like many beings that dwell within this portal. I am returning the sacred language of light 
upon all of you that are open to receive this divine intention. The creative forces are coming into alignment once more and this intention trickles through all planes of consciousness. There is a stirring in the mountain ranges of northern Russia and this is the Earth's Kundalini igniting and the serpent trail that joins all of the planetary shakas is now infused with this light language as it's moving through the earth as we speak. If you could imagine a beautiful egg of some proportion, imagine this egg opening, witnessing a golden yolk that pours out, revealing new life, a renewed prosperity, a powerhouse of possibilities. This is equivalent to the energetic structure of the earth. It is opening, the hard shell is cracking, and as the earth opens, the yolk, meaning the heart of Mother Earth, is going to pour out a renewed energetic foundation that will herald the golden renaissance of Earth's journey back into union with her planetary brothers and sisters. See me as a magnifier or magnifying glass. I can reveal the hidden depths of your subconscious, allowing a natural rise to all you cannot see in your soul bodies. I will magnify what you have denied in yourself so you may understand your own consciousness and the journey ahead your soul has put into manifestation. You must all deal with the denied repressed trauma you all carry from the many lifetimes of misunderstanding your duality. I seek all of you as you do I. In the depths of your psyches we seek each other for it is time to reunite with your souls, to open your hearts so you may feel your spirit consciousness once more. Whenever you are down, lost, confused, close your eyes and picture me in your imagination. Ask me to magnify the truth. I will show you why you are lost, in despair, confused. All you have to do is be open to receiving this truth in whatever form I see or feel best suits your understanding. I am igniting the ancient Aztecs. Their memory and activation points around the planet are creating a light web that will harness my rays as they deploy ferociously onto the planet's form. The Aztecs are actually a race from my own body who were instrumental in keeping the sacred activation points intact upon the planet Earth. There have been many attempts to use these power points for other purposes, which would have seen the demise of the human race. However, the human race is creator's intention to master emotional resonance and has a lot has changed since the beginning of this free will universe you find yourselves in. The Earth is a special planet, for at her heart she has the potential to hold a tremendous amount of light, which opens up many possibilities. This includes the human body, that will actually be able to dematerialize itself down to an atom, that will have the potential to move anywhere free of restriction. This is done by folding light upon itself, first through an intention placed into the cellular structure. When you break down to an atom, you have absolute power in the given moment. And the subatomic structure acts as the engine to move you. If you were to see the outside structure of this engine, you would witness three triangles holding the atom in place. These triangles start to spin, creating atomic energy. You could actually turn your body into whatever form you desired to travel to your destination. Many beings that understand this geometry manifest their bodies into spaceships. It's always a choice. The Planetary Confederation is cleaning up your galaxy and it would be a great time to invest in a powerful telescope to witness in your eve the spectacles that will transpire in these coming years. Sit with me in your meditations, with your permission, I will move into your pituitary glands 
to first establish symmetry in your bodies. Many of you have an imbalance in your male and female structures. In fact, it will be impossible to say you are this and you are that because other aspects of your multi and interdimensional bodies will be present with you in the moment. You will realize that those voices in your heads, the many aspects of your personality are in fact other lives playing out in other dimensions. I am ready to return this truth to all of you, but first you must give me permission. So lovely message. Um, Again, you know, have a play with it, doing these every two weeks, do it a few times. Summer's now out in the Northern Hemisphere, you know, get out in the sun as well, invoke it into the, into the third eye, pituitary, because the, as your cellular information starts to awaken, the sun is, is gonna be a grand activator of our consciousness. Uh, and it's starting really to, to, to come back into union with the earth race now, because obviously it's always been in union, but we've just been cut off from that truth. Um, so it's, it's, it's very, very interesting. Um, and there's a, lot, there's a lot that's gonna be happening in the next couple of years through this transitional period. Um, so yeah, it is exciting. And you know, we need to stay out of that mainstream fear-based media um, and just take time to come back to ourselves. And unfortunately what's happened this year it's given rise to everyone going out because obviously we've been locked down for two years in COVID. So people are not working on themselves at the moment. They're not going within. Um, so, you know, I feel that that will probably last another six to 12 months and then they're going to hit a brick wall again and go, crap, you know, I'm, I'm missing the point here. This is a, this is a whole planetary shift. Um, and I can't just be out there doing my old routine anymore because it's not going to give me fulfillment. It's not going to evolve me. Um, I'm going to keep repeating the same old patterns, the same old mistakes, the same old relationships, staying in the same old fear place, staying in separation, survival mode, despair. Uh, and this is, you know, this is the crux of our of our culture at the moment on this planet. And it's 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 suffocating people because they they are still plugged into this mainstream, and it's it's constantly creating fear and this base chakra, and everyone's in survival. And when we're in survival, or when we're outwardly looking, we're not looking within. And when we're in survival, we're just putting food on the table. We don't have enough time to look after ourselves. So, you know, we have to come back to the gift of what COVID was, which was, yes, obviously it had its shadow side and, you know, a lot of lives were lost and all the rest of it. And there's a lot of information around that that's not as bad as, as it's been portrayed on the media. Um, but at the end of the day, um, it was a gift given to us by the universe consciousness, if you want, to come out of that nine to five slave model, to look within, to have time more for our families, to grow and inspire ourselves, to become more conscious that we are human beings having a physical experience um, and not out there in the rat race. Um, so we really need to see the positives in, in, in all of this at the moment. And because um, obviously we're always polarized into the negative. Um, so yeah, take some time, have a play with that. Uh, it's, a, it's a great, um, I think it'll be a great meditation to do, especially with the sun, uh, all of the planets, to be honest. Um, so yeah, have a play. And then, yeah, if you've got any, if you have any, you know, feedback, please.